Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we are going to do a review on the Top Down BT300P. Welcome back. As stated, we are going to review the Top Down BT300P. Uh, BT stands for battery tester. It is not Bluetooth like I <laughs> originally thought. Uh, once I saw what it was about, I realized that, uh, yeah, it's not a Bluetooth tester, and actually I prefer it that way. Um, it's a sturdy built tester, very simple. I mean, it's not a $1,000 Medtronic tester, but um, I told Top Don, well, they reached out to me, and they said, hey, listen, you, are you interested in, in, in checking this out? I said, yeah, I'll be honest. And um, I got it, and it took me a while to start using it because of the way things flow here. But... I'm pretty impressed and um, I'll tell you why. There are some things that I, I would like to see different but you know what, it's, it's their product, they made it the way they wanted to but I, I'm actually pretty impressed with these jaws. We'll start with the simple stuff. It is a pretty good grip. I wish it was just a hair bigger for some of the things that uh, we test but they are very strong, sturdy and um, straightforward jaws. I mean I, I like them a lot actually. And uh, one thing I wish was kind of longer was this, this cord. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. But let's go ahead and hook up to the vehicle. We got a Mercedes here and a straightforward vehicle. It's got uh, an aftermarket AGM battery on it. Customer installed it, I believe. It's got 760 cold cranking amps. This is the main menu. It's very simple, up and down, uh, enter. This is main menu and then exit. And we're just going to go into the battery tester. Oh, I hit men main menu by mistake. I'm going to hit enter. And this is an AGM battery. We're going to pick coke cranking amps. And we're going to put our 760. Whoops. That was weird. It just pressed enter on its own. Just so you guys know. I was uh, meaning to put 760. I put it at 770 instead. We've got 720 amps out of it. 87%. It shows that it's good. Shows that it's at 100% charge, 12.9 uh, volts, and the internal resistance of 343 mega ohms. Now, of course, uh, one of the other things I would like is a, a battery. Honestly, I would like a battery in it because, oh, that's not good. Oh, that sucks. Every now and then, if, if you shake it around or if it, if it gets uh, thrown around, it'll do that to you. It'll get the printer kind of stuck there let's see if it'll do it this time we're good to go hey I told them I'd be honest and uh, that could have been my fault who knows but yeah pretty straightforward nice printout we're gonna compare this to the Pico battery test um, but like I was saying as much as I would like to keep this image I, I've got a printout we could compare to and one of the things I would like is an internal battery because if this battery was dead well how am i going to get the print out right like anything below nine or ten volts is just not going to print it'll it might you might be able to conduct the test but once you hit that print button and this requires amperage to function that bad that dead battery is not gonna not gonna work out for you but it's just a small little detail you know there's i, I know a lot of people who would take your word for it right but there's a lot of shops out there that they would want to see this they would want to say oh show me a failed test so yeah, that, in that case, I would have to take a picture to show proof. But um, I know it seems like trivial, but because, you know, a dead battery is a dead battery. How are you going to get a printout? But you'd be surprised how many times uh, technicians are questioned uh, when uh, <laughs> doing their everyday job. Uh, so let's set up the Pico. And thanks to my brother, actually, for doing the camera work. We're able to do this comfortably. I've got my Pico set up over here. And... Um, we're just going to hook up our leads. I already have it set up to the specs of the battery, right? And for the Pico test, we are required to show, uh, to do an amperage test along with voltage. Uh, channel A is voltage and channel B is amperage. Let me see if I could put this right here, actually. I'm going to leave that right there. And we're going to see how it compares to... Um, the Pico. We're going to compare the top down to the Pico. And obviously this 
you know, one of the things I like about the top down is that it's pretty easy to do. And um, it doesn't require much setup like the Pico does. You know, I don't mind if I need that extra peace of mind, but it sure is nice to do it pretty quick. So one thing about the Pico test is that you hit that start button, you're going to want to start the vehicle immediately. If you take too long, it's going to cause problems. So, <laughs> And of course, I don't have my key with me. <laughs> All right. And let's see if it does its thing. I'm going to let it idle. And then uh, we, now that we have that done, we can turn off our vehicle and compare. Right, so you're seeing in the screen all the numbers, right? According to Pico, we've got an initial voltage of 12.6, a state of charge of 80%. The lowest voltage was 9.13 a voltage drop of 3.51, a maximum current of 998 amps. The top down showed 720 amps and an internal resistance of 3.52, which is really close to the top down at 3.43. They both show a capacity of 100 and uh, they both show that the battery is good. And that's only showing the battery test. This is not showing obviously the the alternator testing or the uh, cranking testing, but let's go ahead and finish off the top-down test. I, I'm pretty comfortable with that. You know, it says that the state of charge is 80 percent. This one shows 100, you know. Obviously, you're going to have to take it with a grain of salt. You're going to have to look at those numbers and say, wow, is 770 a good number? Yada, yada, yada. What's surprising to me is that Pico would say that it's 80% state of charge, but the capacity uh, shows, the, the maximum current shows 1,000 amps out of 760 co-cranking amps. How did it come to 80%? Not sure, maybe it's the, the voltage drop, but scope is much faster than one of these, so we may not be seeing the entire story. Either way, we're gonna continue our testing and continue on with this review. Let's go to the cranking test right here and we're going to hit enter please start engine now this is one of the this is one of the reasons why I would like a longer cord but this is not a, a deal breaker by any means let me just grab my key we'll go ahead and start up this engine whoops let go of the brake pedal too early I've started my engine and it didn't pick it up. That's a little weird. There it goes. It took a little while. May have been because of my um, my false start. So cranking voltage normal shows a drop of 10.94. Like I said, a scope is much faster than one of these. So we will see much more accuracy with a scope but I like that that's a very straightforward test let's go ahead and do the final test which is the alternator so we're gonna go to our charging test it may re oh we got a ripple test nice it's doing a loaded test increase speed for five seconds press enter to continue all right, let's do that. I'm going to press enter. All right, and let's compare that to what the Pico said. And looking at our charging down here, it shows charging at 33%, voltage 
203 millivolts of ripple and a current of 2.26 amps at idle. This one we don't have as many as much detail. We do see a loaded of about 13.72, unloaded of 13.88, and a ripple of 10 millivolts. Now, which one do I believe more? Of course, it's going to be the Pico because it's a scope. It'll see everything. This one, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. It's good to know. Let's see what it prints out as. All right. Straightforward. Nothing crazy. But very fast, you know. It's um, kind of a... As much as I love the Pico, you guys know I love the Pico, it's a little bit inconvenient to haul my Diag card all over here to every single car. And, you know, if I have any doubts whatsoever, I'll do it. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to be picking this one up uh, first grab. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would for the price. It's not bad at all. And uh, be sure to look at the link in the description for... Or look at the description for a discount code. I'm going to make sure we can get a discount code for you guys. Uh, for those of you who took the time to watch this video, I do appreciate each and every single one of you. Make sure to leave a comment. Do you have one of these? What's your experience, right? Be sure to share that in the comment section. Thanks again, Top Down, for sponsoring this video. Thanks, my brother, Martin, for being the cameraman. I hope he did a good job. Let me know how he did in the comment section. <laughs> they might tear you a new one. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.